Okay, take two. Is this going to work this time? I got a notification, I think. Uh, let's see if anybody comes on here. Uh, come on, work Google, YouTube, let's go. Let's see if it happens. Are you guys out there? You guys get the notifications? Oh, come on, don't make me do this three times. Oh, oh, we got somebody. Oh, we got somebody. There we go. Boom. We're functional. It's like it's like a big deal for me. I don't know why. I like score. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, whatever. All right. All right. So we got some people on here. Excellent. 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 All right. Let me uh, let me do a little bit of uh, internet stuff here, and then uh, we'll start the show. We'll let some people get in here anyway. So that's a good thing too. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Chad? Barry, Peoples, uh, Fire HD, Kindle Fire, help, help, help. Okay, all right, hang on, we're almost ready here. So close, you can taste it, I know. Doop, 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 doop. That's good there. Hold up, almost ready, almost, almost ready. Uh, Subroot Junkie! Chad's, Chad's, what's up Chad? I'm with you man, I got you. Stuttering. Don't tell me the stream's bad, Matt. It's your connection. I hope so. The stream would be, it'd be a pain. How is everybody else? Can you guys see me? Is it choppy? Everything working okay? Hope my connection's good. One last one here. There we go. Fixing things for you. I don't know if I got your message. I'd have to look honestly. <laughs> Clorox bleach. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. That's that's a good name. I like it. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> okay. All right. I think we're good. Why on Saturday, Brandon? Um, I don't know. I missed last week. I'm sorry. I apologize. I meant to do the live stream last week, but um, I got really busy, so I couldn't do it. Um, so Saturday, I do it Saturday or Sunday. It happens both days, so you just, you know, sometimes I switch it up a bit. Some people can watch it Saturday. Some can watch it Sunday live, so I try to give it a little bit even, so... Um, Brian, you unlocked Google Locked. Locked. Uh -uh. You have to, if you're asking about FRP, yes, I do a lot of that. Comcast Ultra. Mm, don't have one. Wasn't planning on getting one, honestly. I don't have any 4K TV, so that's kind of no point to me to get one and upgrade. Currently rooting my Fire Tablet. Nice. Fifth gen, I'm assuming. Okay, everything's better. Bleach. Clorox bleach. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you guys can see everything. That's that's excellent. Oh, wait. I missed that one. Nice. What is Google's newest, latest updates? 211? 16 FRP? 211? Don't you mean 11.2? Welcome to the real world. <laughs> Oh, man. Nice. Um, fixing things for you? I'd have to look. Honestly, I don't know if I saw your comment or not. I get a lot of comments, so it's really hard to keep up on all of them, honestly. So, um, all right. So, let's see here. Um, got to look at some topics we got for today. Finally decided to stop running Walking Dead. Ru ruining Walking Dead, right? <laughs> Matt's mad because I'm live streaming when Walking Dead's on. That's what's going on right there. <laughs> oh my goodness just reading some comments here guys um tch -tch -tch. note 7 frp please you should be able to use real term um and for that matter why do you still have a note 7 
I guess some people kept um for collection reasons, but most people didn't. Uh, Google Pixel XL all the way over the Moto Z Force. Personal opinion. Uh, do you have uh, Brandon's asking questions? I'm not answering that, Brandon. I might. You don't know, do you? Ooh. Uh, Walmart 4K TVs. Yeah, I need to upgrade mine. I actually want to get one for my office, honestly. But my wife's kind of like, hey, listen, you already live in there, so if you get a TV, you'll never come out. So, yeah, she's probably right. <laughs> so, I kind of want one anyway, though. We'll see. I don't even want anything big. Like, if I could get, well, maybe I do want something big. I don't know. Big's nice. We'll see. I could just, like, put a, a Chromecast on it and, you know, stream everything to it. That'd be perfect. Uh, just reading some stuff here. Jack plays. Jack plays official. Okay, what's up, man? BlackBerry Priv FRP. Yeah, Don. A whole bunch of people have figured that out. I've seen posts all over the internet about the Priv. I don't know what what build you're on currently, um, but basically it's a compilation of the methods I've already released. So if you watch a bunch of those, you could probably figure out a way to get into them. So, anyway, let's talk about my first thing I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about uh, today. So, one, I just got the Axon 7, this device right here, um, by ZTE. This is my very first ZTE phone. Um, probably their expensive, most expensive phone right now, too. It was like 400 bucks. Um, so, pretty cool phone. I'm actually really liking it. I haven't done any reviews on it. I played with it a little bit. I haven't activated I think I'm going to do that. Um, coming up so that's pretty cool uh, definitely a neat phone I did go ahead and do um, FRP bypass on this phone right here the Axon 7 um, which wasn't too hard a little bit tricky but uh, I did a video on that um, put that actually on phone lab you guys know I do a lot of videos on there at this point so um, yeah so that's pretty cool I've got that up there which is uh, pretty neat uh, pretty neat stuff right there Oh yeah, everybody wants the FRP stuff. I know, there's a lot of cool videos I have on it, but... Oh, now somebody, another guy wants to know if I have any phones for sale? Um, I don't know, name one, maybe. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing I guess was kind of neat is, um, if, you, if you guys missed it, I'll, I'll bring this out here. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Google Home video. This thing is really awesome, and you guys should check out that video. It's a little review and like showing off some features on this thing. I love it actually. Um, it's so nice, like in the morning, just to ask it, you know, what what the weather's gonna be, um, you know, just different things about what's going on in the day. Um, it's really really nice. Um, going ahead and casting to them all throughout the house, and all having all the same music playing on all of them. I've got one here. I've got audio cast set up in my basement, and then also another one in my living room. So I can pretty much play music in the whole house. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, really, really cool. Oh, uh, there's Phone Lab. Phone Lab's on. What's up, MJ? What's up? MJ's there. That's my man. So, um, so yeah, if you haven't seen that video for um, Android Home, you, you got to check it out. It's really cool. Uh, have any of you guys picked these up? I really like them. Any feedback on Android or Google Home, I guess? Android Home, Google Home, whatever. Um, Hamed, how to root... Android 6.0, well, that really much depends on what device you're running, so it very much varies. <sighs> uh, yeah, S7 Edge is very much like the Note 7. Very similar phone. Ontario, Canada. Don D, what up? ZTE, ZTE, oh ZTE, I call it ZTE, not Z, but whatever, ZTE, <laughs> ZTE, there's my Chicago accent, I guess, I'll say I have one, whatever. <clears throat> uh, Amazon Echo slash Dot, Android Home, I have not used Echo or Dot, um, I was about to buy into like the Dot when you could buy like six of them for like 300 bucks or 250 or something like that. 
Um, I almost bought into that, but I never did pull the trigger just because I'm really in the Google infrastructure. And so because I'm in the Google infrastructure, I was just kind of like, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stick with Google and wait for Google's variant, which is uh, Google Home, and uh, check it out. And I really liked it. Do you own a Nextbit Robin? Um, I was almost, I looked at them today because they are dirt cheap. If you guys haven't seen this, go on Amazon. You can get the Nextbit Robin for 170 bucks. Originally priced, these things were, um, shoot, what were they? They were $300, $299. So they've dropped a lot. But I think that the concept is just weak because it's all about the whole sales point of that phone is um, cloud storage and storing things on the cloud so that your phone's not all jammed up with all this these applications and, and information. Which, so they're offering you like a 32 gig phone and a, 100 gigs of online storage. Well, why deal with all of that craziness? Why not just get a phone with 128 gigs of storage and be done with it? Who needs all the cloud stuff and all that back end? It's just not necessary. It's it's the concept doesn't make sense and if you're getting like a terabyte of cloud storage so your phone was almost like it had like a terabyte of space on it hmm, okay maybe you got something but just 100 gigs is not there's no point to that <sighs> my Wi-Fi signal now nah, nothing here interesting MJ says soap Target mat. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, that's an excellent question. NES Classic, that's actually on my list of things to talk about. So, I want one of these things so bad. I don't know if you guys have have seen the NES Classic, um, or they call it NES Mini Classic Edition. Um, it's basically original NES, but it's like, it's like this big. It's like super tiny. Um, and it comes with 30 games built into it there's no like cartridges it's just built in um and it looks awesome um i wish i could get my hands on one i had the thing on my watch list on amazon for a ridiculous amount of time like three months and then you know the day it comes release there's none of them it reminds me a lot about when like when nintendo wii came out when the wii first got released you go to the store and it was just gone it was never ever there um, they had such a back stock or, um, you know, everybody was wiping the shelves of them because they didn't release very many. And I think that's the strategy here. They could, could have released like the whole market and saturated the market with these things, but they wanted to have demand because everybody wants something they can't have. And Google knows, or not Google, um, Nintendo knows that. So I definitely want to get one though. What are you guys thoughts about it? I mean, to me, it's just like the nostalgia. I mean, this is a system I grew up on playing NES at my grandparents' house. They had one and we used to play it all the time. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, what do you guys think? Any NES Mini? This thing's pretty cool. I wish it was available. The stream is extremely delayed. Oh, I'm sorry. Chad. What's up, Chad? Just reading through some comments. Uh, how late am I, Mark? You're so late, Mark. You're like missing the whole thing. <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. Just looking through the, uh, the feed here. <sighs> I wonder if it's delayed. That kind of sinks if it is. It's hard to interact if we got a nice delay going on on the on the feed. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's uh, catching up here. Anyway, um, so let's see here. There we go. So yeah, I mean we got like I said, Andrew at home, pretty cool. Definitely check that video out. Um, the classic is is awesome. The NES Classic is really awesome. Um, the other thing I guess I wanted to mention to you guys, in case you weren't all aware of this, um, I don't know if you guys even know that this even exists or can be done. So, um, on devices like, oh shoot, well oh, I would show it to you, but it's actually what I'm shooting on right now. Um, on the 
Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Um, over at Phone Lab, the site that I'm, I'm partnering with, um, we've actually figured out, this is pretty cool, I don't know if any, many people know how to do this, I don't think many of you do. Um, we figured out a way to debrand the phone, okay? So let me give you an example of, of what I mean by this. So we've taken a AT&T Galaxy S7 or a um, AT&T uh, Galaxy S7 Edge and we went ahead and took those two phones uh, from AT&T, either one of them, and we can flash that phone fully. I mean, we're talking every bit of it to make that phone now a T-Mobile phone. Or we can make it a Verizon phone. Um, completely. It's completely a Verizon phone. We're not talking like rooting it and flashing a customer on. We're talking, we are reflashing this thing like a carrier would flash it when they get it. Okay? Um, which is pretty, pretty cool that it can be done. Um, and that phone is now, even though it may say Verizon on the back cover, it's now a, or AT&T, it's now a T-Mobile or whatever we want to flash it to. Um, basically whatever carrier. And not only are we flashing it and, and making it a, a new carrier phone, it gets the new carrier's OTA updates from that carrier. Um, if it was on Verizon and it was locked to Verizon, it is now unlocked to whatever carrier we flash it to. So if it was AT&T and it was locked in AT&T, we flash it to T-Mobile and it works on T-Mobile. There's no one doing any kind of um, carrier unlock, SIM unlock, to get the thing to function now on that carrier. It just does because it's a full flash. Um, so that is just insanely cool. Um, so you guys definitely, you, you, if you're interested in what I'm talking about here, you got to check this out because it's pretty neat. Um, we use a bunch of different things and uh, a kind of elaborate process to achieve this, but um, it's pretty neat. And we've tested it on a bunch of those devices and we can flash it from AT&T to T-Mobile back to AT&T over to Verizon, whatever. Doesn't matter. It works. Um, so yeah, we got some uh, comments here. 60 inch TV. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, I know this is delayed. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It looks like comments weren't coming for a while. So um, you'll catch up. We'll just I'll just keep talking. Uh, maybe they'll catch up. Maybe they won't. Yeah, Sam, I know. It's sad. I don't know what's going on. It might be my network. You may have to watch it afterwards, but uh, be quick about it or keep watching this and enjoy it because uh, I do actually have, and I'll show it to you, because I said I was going to do it. And I was like, ah, why not? Let's let's go ahead and do this. So the last one, the last things I wanted to tell you about um, today in this stream was just give you a chance to win something because it's kind of fun. So whether you're watching this again, just check it because if the stream's having problems, I mean, you're gonna want to get it. So try it and try it until you know it doesn't work. Let's put it that way. So stream jittery, yeah. I'm sorry. Here we go, guys. Here we go. You'll get it. Somebody's going to get it. Somebody's going to have a decent stream or a delayed stream. I don't know what it is, but here we go. Ready for it? Dee -doo, dee -doo. So there you go. Whoever's lucky enough to get this thing before anybody else and their stream feeds through before anybody else, there it is. There it is. Chance to watch some free movies on Root Junkie or buy some applications. Put it that way. So... Hope you guys enjoy it, for sure. These are kind of fun. It's an easy way to do a giveaway, and then I don't have to mail nothing, nothing. Just whoever gets it, gets it. I just scratched that thing off right before we started the stream, so. Anyway. Uh, oh, some comments are coming in now. Are European phones bored? Because you can root them more easily. Uh, yeah, they're not as challenging because most of the time um, a lot of the phones that are uh, foreign, not in the U.S., aren't locked down. So you can do whatever you want with them. So they're not challenging, let's put it that way. So Just reading some comments. Um, so 